Hey everyone, it's Harriet. Now, usually at this time of year, I would be out in Richmond Park, drawing the deer, feeling a bit wintry, feeling a bit Christmassy. But um, seeing as lockdown 2.0 is happening, we're not really supposed to be going on the tube, I thought I would show you how to draw some in watercolour from the comfort of my very own home. So here are some sketches that I prepared earlier at a previous trip a couple of years ago to Richmond Park, which I've never done anything with. So I'm gonna basically conjure the feeling of being in Richmond Park with these. And I'm gonna be working using these um, tubes of watercolor, which if I'm not out and about, I tend to use tubes because I just find that they're a little bit more flexible. So I am big into sort of purpley lilac-y colors at the moment. And I feel like that's still kind of wintry, so I'm just going to mix together some really nice, like, lilac-y colour. Um, mm, actually, mm, no, I'm going to go for this sort of darker red, and that will be my base. But I always like to start off my painting by just making a wet surface. And then using a super thin brush, I start to paint in the basic shapes. Now, and it's almost like you're drawing. As you can see, it's kind of spreading around. Don't quite know where it's gonna go. And for me, like, I just find that quite liberating. It just sort of means that you can get the figure down without worrying too much about like getting the proportions wrong. And yeah, the wetter it is, the more it will spurge out. Make it a little bit festive. So because I'm using paint that's directly from the tube, I can really vary the thickness of the paint. And then as it dries, you can just sort of go in with more of the detail, build more into it, and then get more the actual shape of the animal um, or person, whatever you want to draw. It might be Father Christmas, who knows? The world is your oyster. And working in this way really enables you to like push and pull it so you can really kind of just see how far you want it to go. Keep adding or taking away. But the good thing about watercolor is that it kind of is more of an impression of something. So I can actually manage to make quite like realistic looking pictures from not really having like a photo to work from. Ta-da! So I thought I'd show you some of the other ones I did because knowing me I went a bit crazy and kind of made loads of reindeer. God knows what I'll do with all these pictures. Might even make them into a tea towel, actually. It'd be quite cute. Um, but yeah, I really recommend it as a fun little activity to do whilst you're locked up in your homes this Christmas. So if you've got some watercolour, give it a go. Chasing away those lockdown blues. You are welcome. I mean, who needs to actually see a reindeer in the flesh? Am I right? Yeah, <laughs> it's 2020. So anyway, take care of yourselves and a Merry Christmas to you all. Bye.